Ever since 2006, 2007, there have been uh, major increases in food prices. So food prices are double what they were historically. And this has uh, actually been pretty good for Africa because it's stimulated massive investment uh, by investor farmers. And there's a lot more capital moving into agriculture than there used to be. But the demand for land is going up. So uh, in Kenya, in Tanzania, in places that are good market access conditions, we're seeing land prices skyrocketing. Uh, we're also seeing um, uh, massive population growth. So the combination of massive population growth along with uh, rising food prices and land prices is that there's much more of a squeeze on land. So even though it's commonly thought that Africa is a land abundant place that can expand, uh, there's many places in Africa where that's not feasible anymore. So um, one fact that uh, uh, we're trying to document is that the number of rural people who, young people who grow up and inherit land, this used to be considered a birthright for African youth, but it's not anymore. Uh, in, in Kenya, 25% uh, of people in rural areas inherit land. The other ones are, uh, have to either rent land or somehow uh, you know, use the market to buy land, or they're pushed out of agriculture. So the fact that inheritance is declining as a mode of land access is something that governments are going to have to, to anticipate and really deal with because there's a much greater employment problem uh, now than there ever used to be. If smallholder farmers in Africa are going to be empowered and really thrive uh, as a business, innovations are going to happen, have to happen, not just in technology, but also in institutions. Because the strength of African agriculture is really going to be affected by the strength of rural institutions. So that it's not just extension people telling farmers what to do, that's, that's failed. There have to be this give and take where the extension system understands the constraints that smallholders are facing and adapting to them.